get to making with Jive Boy. When it hits you, yeah. Bougie Duchess, uh, first time I've done a live video while I'm driving down the street. I'm going to go pick up Cindy and um, I'm going to take her back to the studio, aka my apartment. And uh, I've got Bo in the back seat. I'm running the air conditioner. So I'm heading to the Los Angeles uh, Metro Red Line to pick her up. And uh, oh, there's Bo sitting in the back seat. He's a bit of a ham. Yes, he is. He loves riding in the car. And I love taking him out for a ride. I really do. I enjoy this. And um, wow, this is just, the technology is just amazing. I'm just so amazed at what we can do now. And um, the results, the results of COVID-19. Seriously, we have never, ever been so isolated yet so connected to the entire world. I think it's just an amazing topic, you know, that we're going to be discussing today on Hot Topics and how we are functioning in this new 21st century world that we're living in. Um, I feel like I'm part of the Jetsons or something like that, you know? And uh, life is pretty good, so I've got few complaints going on. I see Liz is back on. My faithful trooper, Liz. I really uh, am so grateful for, you know, how how this situation with the Bougie Duchess has saved my life. It has enabled me to um, really reach out in a way that I, I've never done before. You know, I, I travel now with these masks, you know, and uh, I, I find safety in in, in in clothing and attire that I've never known before. Um, I did put on a post uh, a little earlier this week about uh, the hajib, the, the burqa, and the dakib. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, no disrespect intended. It is just um, one of those things that um, I'm finding, you know, safety in clothing. Now, I, I would not wear that outfit in the traditional sense as no, but maybe something a little sheer, a little see-through-ish. And uh, I was talking to my girlfriend, Sabrina, the other day, and she says, well, that sounds like a nighty. <laughs> so, um, yes, you know, so, but, uh, you know, the adaptation of what's going on in today's world and, and a look at history is, uh, is, uh, I, I think, uh, a good example of uh, how we should be approaching this situation in the future. Now, um, I know, just like anybody else knows, the flu ramps up every fall. So will this COVID-19 situation ramp back up in the fall? I believe it will. I believe it will ramp back up in the fall. Um, I do not believe that we will have a vaccine ready by the time the fall uh, rolls around. So that will be one of the topics we will discuss. And, um, you know, the situations that we are going to be dealing with then, um, how willing will the American public and the world to be sequestered again um, so soon after um, this situation was exposed this way? Um, I don't know. It's, you know, something to be seen. So stay tuned and um, thanks for tuning in. And I love you guys. Alrighty. Bye-bye now.